Okay. Hey up. Today's video is a little bit different. I was experimenting doing voiceover. Uh, a little bit challenging with the software and doing the voice and hearing and everything, but I got through it. Um, you may not like it. It's just me experimenting. I thought I'd throw it up there. Uh, I did a project on an, a new speed control for the vacuum to provide air for the oil-fired burner. I was always having into a problem with too much airflow and the router speed control would not slow it down enough. So I went and bought one of these $9 units from eBay and it worked quite well. So I'm impressed with it. I filmed the whole thing and did some voiceover and bits where I wasn't talking. So on with the video. Uh, oh, and thank you everyone for subscribing. Uh, I think I've got 187 subscribers and 76,000 views. So this is just me playing around, uh, nothing serious, but trying to see what I can do on YouTube. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, um, and on with the video. Okay, so I need better speed control. Uh, the one I have just doesn't go slow enough. So I saw this one online, it was nine bucks uh, for a 10,000 watt. So I've got an outlet, got an inlet. And I thought, what am I gonna mount it on? So I was like, you know what? This vacuum cleaner came with this. I can stick this right in here, drill a hole. I've got speed control, power can come in, I can tie it up. So uh, let's get going. Okay, so this is just me trying to figure out how to put it in. I kind of had an idea, but uh, and here I am. <clears throat> As usual, I drilled the hole too small. So now I'm going to use the drill as a file. <laughs> I do have the correct size down there on, on the floor. So now I've got the, uh, the hole big enough. And now I'm using a crescent. It's way too big for this size nut. And it's giving me a hard time. <laughs> So the correct size wrench uh, or adjustable would have been better, but it is what it is. So I've got that on, looks like it fits well. Now count how many times I flick this piece of card around, uh, later on it bites me. But uh, here I am trying to decide where it goes. That's where I'm going to mount it. So now I get a uh, small drill bit so I can fit through the PCB board. And now I change it out for a bigger drill so I can put the screw through it. plastic was quite hard to uh, drill, well, without having a burr or it flaking. So the circuit, the outer two are neutral, inner two are power. This is out. So... So I cut the wires too long, so now I'm going to get a pair of side cutters so I can make the wire smaller and fit in the terminal. A 
and that thing that I'm kneeling on perfect uh, saves the knees I think it was $19 at Lowe's uh, well worth it if you're going to be doing any thing on your knees it's way better to use the knee pads So now I'm uh, screwing the terminals, probably using a screwdriver that was way too big. But as always, I can never find the screwdriver I uh, need. I <laughs> always find what I end up having. <coughs> Sorry about that, it's a little bit pig. <laughs> so now I'm connecting up the line side of it. I'm going to join the uh, ground with a wire nut. I'm not sure if that's legal but uh, it'll work for me. <coughs> so the neutrals on the outside, the greens, I'm just gonna join together and put a wire nut on. I just got myself a wire nut. And as you can see, the uh, red wire is loose. Ah, that's a series of unfortunate events. And with some luck, I was able to uh, put it back in the hole. So <clears throat> now I've got it all wired up, I can uh, mount the board to that uh, vacuum uh, attachment. I kind of like this idea of uh, using the vacuum attachment because it fits up against the vacuum cleaner. When I'm uh, adjusting the speed control, I'm near the vacuum. It's all in one package, so kind of worked out quite well. Otherwise, if I'd have bought one of these inside a metal box, I would have had to have figured out how to mount it to the vacuum cleaner. This keeps it a nice, smooth install. Yep, uh, that was the wife letting me know that I was showing crack. So it's dinner time and I'm in a rush now to see if I can get this work. There's nothing worse than trying to 
eat dinner and knowing will it work, will it work, so I was in a rush here. to control the speed really well. Oh yeah. That's a nice flow control. I think that flow is probably a little bit too light, but I've got good control of the airflow now, so next to fire it up with the burner. Okay, so I got the speed control done. It takes it down to just a small flow, which will be perfect for the oil burner. So I'll give this a try. And as you can see, I've got it on there. I've got a cable tie the wires down so they're not pulling on everything but uh, this looks like it will work uh, on with the project <laughs> 